Hi, Noah. We love your podcast. Um, I'm strong on the inside. Me like me. Me like the podcast. <laughs> Hello, I'm Noah, and this is Like You, a mindfulness podcast for kids. You just heard from two of our Australian listeners, Alfie, age five, and Daisy, age three, sent in their favorite affirmations. If any other listeners want to send a message sharing their favorite affirmation, or maybe sing a song from Like You, have a grown-up record a voice memo and email it to hello at likeyoupodcast.com. Today, we'll talk about how feelings can be like waves, and maybe we'll even try riding a wave. First, a word for the grown-ups. Like You is listener-supported, so if you'd like to help us continue making new episodes, please join us at patreon.com slash likeyoupodcast for early access to every episode and other special perks. We also appreciate it when you spread the word about our podcast by telling friends or leaving a rating and review on Apple Podcasts. All right, listeners of all ages, find a place to listen where you feel comfortable and safe. Feel free to speak up when you answer questions or say affirmations, or if you'd rather just think your answers quietly in your head, that's okay too. I'm so glad to be back to the podcast after taking a few weeks off for summer vacation. I'm sure many of you had time off from school this summer too. And many of you are gearing up to start a new school year as we speak. What sorts of things did you do during your summer vacation? Did you take a trip somewhere or enjoy staying at home? Did you read any good books? play any new games, or visit with family and friends? Take a moment to think about what was your favorite part of the summer. And when you think of something, let me know. Now keep that thought in your mind. Close your eyes and see if you can imagine yourself right back there in your favorite part of summer. Do you remember how things looked around you? Do you remember how you felt? As you keep thinking about your favorite summer moment, take a moment to just enjoy it. Take a long breath in and a long breath out. Take another deep breath in letting your memory fill your lungs. Then a long breath out. One last breath before we move on from this moment. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Now wrap that memory up and hang on to it for the next time you need a happy thought. You can open your eyes now if you want, or keep them closed, it's up to you. On the count of three, we'll all say, I like me. One, two, three. I like me. I like you too. You are as fun and as exciting as a summer vacation. I enjoyed hearing about your favorite part of the summer. Today's episode is partly inspired by something I did during my summer break. My family and I visited the beach. It was my first time at the beach since I was a kid. And for my daughters, it was their first time ever. We spent a lot of time standing in the water, letting the waves wash in and out over us. I found it relaxing. I actually made a recording of the waves so you could hear what it sounded like. Here, have a listen. No, 
Now imagine that you are standing in the water yourself. The water comes up to your waist and it feels cool on your legs. Above the water, your body feels warm in the sun. Imagine the waves washing in and out. In and out. You may hear the voices of other children playing in the distance. Sometimes I think that our feelings are a little bit like waves. They wash over us, but then they wash away. No sooner has one feeling washed away than a new feeling washes in to take its place. Back and forth, over and over, we feel our feelings washing in and out. No wave and no feeling stays forever. And just like these gentle waves you're imagining washing in and out, you can handle any kind of feeling that comes your way. Just breathe in and out. Take a moment to notice each feeling and then let it go. With each wave, let's imagine a different feeling washing in and out. With this first wave, think of being happy. Next, think of being excited. Then think of feeling nervous. Then how you feel when you're confused. Now think of feeling disappointed. And feeling silly. When we think of each feeling as a wave that comes for a moment and then washes away, it makes it a little easier to manage each feeling. Just notice each feeling as it washes by and then let it pass. But what happens when a big wave comes our way? Not a small wave that gently washes over our legs, but a tall wave that crashes over our head. What happens when a big, big feeling rises up inside and we feel so angry, so scared, or even ashamed? Well, remember, even a big wave eventually crashes and goes away. So just take a breath and let that big wave pass you by. Let's try an imagination exercise where we pretend big waves are washing over us and passing by. First, let me take a moment to say that this is just for our imagination. If you were really standing in the ocean, you should avoid big waves and stay close to your grown up and follow all the safety rules they have for you. But for this make-believe exercise, we'll imagine that you're standing in the ocean and you see a big angry wave about to wash over your head. So before it gets to you, take a deep breath and hold it as you imagine that angry wave washing over your head and then let your breath out. The wave is gone and your head is back in the bright sun. You let that big scary wave pass by without washing you away. So we'll try it once more. Imagine a big angry wave coming your way. Remember it's okay to feel angry. We just don't want to let that feeling wash us away. So take a deep breath and hold it as you let that angry wave wash over your head and pass away. Then let out your breath and breathe in the fresh sunshine. Now that angry wave is gone and you're still safe. And now you know that no bad feeling lasts forever. Of course, not every big feeling is a bad feeling. So what do we do when there's a big happy wave? Well, 
We want to enjoy every bit of that big happy feeling, so what better way than to surf the wave? Let's imagine we're doing that now. You're paddling out on your surfboard, looking for fun adventure. And here comes a big, joyful, happy wave. Hop up on your feet and imagine planting your feet firmly on your surfboard. The wave sweeps in and picks you up and you ride it. You feel the wind blowing in your hair and you feel the sunlight warming your skin. You smile a big smile and you feel your heart beating with excitement inside your chest. Imagine taking a few steps toward the front of your surfboard and dangling your toes off the edge into the water. Surfers call that hanging 10 because you're hanging all 10 of your toes off the surfboard. Enjoy every moment of this big happy wave. And let's imagine the wave carries you safely all the way back to the beach because even big happy waves have to end sometime. And remember, just the way that big waves come and go, so do big feelings. Sometimes you'll feel happy, upbeat, and excited, and other times you'll feel angry, sad, or disappointed. With each feeling you feel, take a moment to notice it. And with difficult feelings, you can take a deep breath and wait for it to pass you by. Or with feelings you enjoy, you can surf it like a wave, hang ten, and appreciate it while it lasts. Now I have a new song to sing for you. While you listen, you can close your eyes and imagine standing in the ocean or surfing big waves. Waves roll in, waves roll out. Waves roll in, waves roll out. And I can feel it all. Feelings come, feelings go Feelings come, feelings go And I can feel them all Some feel big and some feel small Some feel big and some feel small But I can feel them all When angry waves seem too big for me I take a deep breath And now it's time for today's affirmations. Affirmations are words you can say about yourself to remember how wonderful you are. I'll say each one twice. Listen once, then repeat it with me. I am thankful for this moment. I am thankful for this moment. I am stronger than my fear. I am stronger than my fear. I can do big things. I can do big things. There's no one better to be than myself. There's no one better to be than myself. 
Today will be an awesome day. Today will be an awesome day. Big happy waves are coming my way. Big happy waves are coming my way. Now let's smile and take a few slow, deep breaths as we wind down our time together. I can't wait to spend some time together again soon. Until then, I like you, I'm proud of you, and I'm glad we are friends. Have a happy and peaceful day. Like You is a production of Perpetual Motion. It is written and hosted by me, Noah Glenn. I also composed and performed the Like You theme music and other music that appeared in the episode. Our podcast cover art was illustrated by Maya Sane, and our episode art is created by Lindsay Glenn. Our podcast is listener-supported, and you can be a part of supporting us by joining our Patreon group at patreon.com slash likeyoupodcast. Other ways to support the show are by telling your friends, writing a review on Apple Podcasts, or checking out our online shop at likeyoupodcast.com. Our website also features show notes for every episode. We love hearing from listeners. You can send us voice memos, drawings, and pictures by having a grown-up send an email to hello at likeyoupodcast.com. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at likeyoupod. Thanks for listening.